Okay, so let's get things done, shall we? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. I am very happy to be here because YouTube is just like becoming like a working environment for me. I feel, I don't feel alone being here in YouTube and that is something I was actually talking with my friend Alana the other day that she enjoys watching videos on YouTube because she feels like she's not alone, that she's not working alone and I was like, yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> so I am super happy to be here. I really miss this. It's been like three weeks or a month since the last time that I posted a video and it was because I was not doing very well with my energy. So I decided to take time to recharge and also I have been tracking my productiveness. And I realized that in order to have a productive week, I have to, I mean, I need a day in the middle of the week to rest, like to forget about work and just rest. And that is because, I don't know, maybe I'm a very extremely sensitive person and I get easily stressed out um, about, I mean, because of the stuff that I regularly do, my work and house chores and all of that stuff. So I have been trying to find a perfect balance between work and and keeping um, a healthy, uh, um, like, and being kind to my body in order to have a healthy, uh, a healthy life in general. So I have been taking the time to analyze very well how I react to certain routines. Um, whenever I need to rest, I do so. And then I pay attention to how my body is responding to that. And I have been highly considering including that day in the middle of the week to rest, like to recharge and so I can continue working with no problems for the rest of the week. I believe that's, that is a very good solution for me. And this is the thing, guys. Productiveness is not a bidimensional thing. It's not you are productive, like the hell productive, or you are not. There are 
things in the middle. And that thing is in the middle is the balance. It's a balance that you have to figure out on your own because everyone has a different pace. Everyone has different energies. Every, everyone has a different reality. And we really need to stop thinking that being productive is working the hell out of you in order to succeed when actually is keeping a balance between having a healthy um, lifestyle and being and doing the things. So figure it out. Try to pay attention to how your body is responding to your normal working schedule and then you can find out the way to you know, to balance things. That's like my sincere advice. So it's been super nice. I have been doing a lot of things for the shop. As you could see, I am having a lot of fun with it. I love making things and I hope you guys enjoy this process. I am going to post another video in which is going to be entirely for the shop update because I really wanted to see how I make my products just in case you want to take ideas from it. So I am very excited about that video. So yeah, this is it guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here again. Enjoy the rest of the video and see you pretty, 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 pretty soon. <laughs> so thank you again for being here and for making me company because as I said, I don't feel that alone when I'm here. I am being super honest. So thank you, thank you again. Uh, for the lovely comments and for the new subscribers, welcome. I hope you find here a place for you, you know, find inspiration and to find a friend. So thank you. Thank you so much and see you pretty soon. Okay guys, so hello, hello, it's Monday and my Monday girl go any better, like look at this, oh my god, look at this beautiful strawberry plant my friend Lisa brought me, like Lisa thank you so freaking much, I have been wanting to have a strawberry plant for so freaking long and she surprised me with one and the, the good thing is that I gave to her a care package and I drew an strawberry plant <laughs> on the envelope so it was perfect it just what it was a perfect moment and it was a very meaningful moment because it was the first time that Lisa and I met for like in real life we have been uh, whatsapp friends so uh, I am very thankful and very happy that I got to meet her and also that she brought me this and I was able to give to her a draw, I mean, a bunch of drawings and stickers and cute stuff. So my, my desk is a mess right now. I need to make a space for this beauty and also I need to name her and I need to put her in another pot. So God, this is going to be an amazing, an amazing thing. Like seeing this baby growing and it's protein little strawberries every day god this is a dream come true lisa thank you thank you <laughs> this is so 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 unreal i don't know i am not used to receive gifts so this is like this just made my whole month like i don't need anything else to be happy in the whole month so <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so freaking much Okay guys, so for the end of the video, I just wanted to share another painting process. This time it is this super cute character from Animal Crossing. His name is Bladders, he's one of my favorite characters. So I decided to paint him for the drawing challenge, which was, I mean the prompt was museum. Um, so about the drawing challenge, it's going super well, to be honest. This drawing challenge has been one of the most beautiful decisions that I ever made this year and it is because it's teaching me new things every day. Every time that I sit and I 
paint something uh, there's always something new I learned also my profile is looking really pretty which was something that I really wanted to achieve like something very aesthetic and you know organized and cohesive and this challenge is giving me that so I am super happy and content with the result I am a few weeks away from finishing this drawing challenge and I can't wait because I have big plans for all of the paintings that I have made so far and the ones that uh, I am going to be making so yeah I am extremely excited about it so yeah this is the end of the video guys I hope you've enjoyed this as well as I did so Thank you guys again for being here, for leaving those lovely comments. As I told you, uh, you cannot imagine how much I smile whenever I read all of um, all of these lovely comments. I never expect them to be honest because you know, when you are new, you are not really expecting attention here. But it's happening, and I am very comfortable with the small community that I am building here and on Instagram, on Twitter, and any other social media platform. So see you guys in a few in a few weeks. Please take care of yourselves. Be kind, be nice, be a nice human, and see you pretty soon. So bye-bye.